Hey divas, today I'm gonna show you how I transform my blowout. In my last video, I showed you guys my blowout process and now I'm taking out those braids from the end of that video. You wanna make small sections because if the section is too thick, then your hair won't straighten easily. Today I'm using the Chi Iron Guard heat protectant and you guys want to use a heat protectant because you do not want to damage your hair. Uh uh uh! We are doing the chase method and the chase method is pretty much when you use a comb or brush to separate the strands of hair in the section and then chase it with your flat iron. This allows the heat to be distributed more evenly, allowing for straighter and silkier results with fewer passes. I generally do about three passes per section, so the first two will be the chase method, and then the third will be me picking out little spots that I think are puffy and just going over the whole thing. I'm using the highest temperature on my flat iron, which is 410 degrees, so I'm out here burning my fingers, touching my hair too soon. You guys don't need to use the highest temperature, just use the lowest temperature that gets your hair straight. But for me personally, anything under 400 ain't, ain't gonna do nothing. I might as well just blow out my hair. I know y'all see me out here making glimas and wincing, but I actually do like the feeling when I put the flat iron to my root just because it lets me know that I got as close to the root as possible. Not because I like burning my scalp or anything, but I don't know, maybe it's just me. The next part of this video is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm just going to speed it up for you. Yes, 
it's me so here is a little length check my hair is pretty much at bra strap length so it's below my armpits and i like the amount of growth that i've had considering that i haven't really been trying to grow my hair so yay i never have a specific style in mind once i'm done straightening my hair but i always know i don't want it out and about and in my face so i'm gonna brush it back and slick it back with some edge control like oh doing my edges is fun to be a breeze because my hair is straight but it was actually really difficult and i think it's because i didn't use eco styler gel first y'all always know i do eco styler gel and then edge control on top because my hair is difficult but who's gonna put eco styler gel in their hair right after straightening it like maybe on day four or five when the roots start to puff up but right after straightening it <laughs> no ma'am some jumbo clips to keep everything in place because I know my hair is not going to stay like this on its own. This look is almost complete, but y'all already know, I gotta top it off with some Diva Gloss. I was feeling myself for days like, OMG, y'all have no idea. I absolutely love how my hair came out, even though my ends are a little stiff, but that's not what's important. So here I am giving y'all face like, yes girl, thumbnail, and then boom, I get exposed. Give this video a thumbs up, feel free to comment, and don't forget to follow, shop, and subscribe.